everybody, it's Sarah, and sorry if my voice <coughs> sounds a little weird. Um, I've kind of, I don't know, I've kind of had a frog in my throat for the past couple days. Like, I'm not sick, because I don't feel sick, I don't have a temperature, I don't have a sore throat or anything. <coughs> but as you can tell, my voice is just weird, so sorry about that. But anyways, um, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial, and it is inspired by just kind of like your basic half updo. And... For the past couple months, I've been trying to find a new way to do a have to because personally, like just the traditional pull it up and have it part or whatever, that just doesn't, like it looks okay, but it really kind of just makes me look like a little kid. So um, I've been trying to find another way to do it. And so I thought I found this way to do it like a week ago or something, so I thought I would show you guys. And all I've done with my hair is washed and blow dried it, so that's why it looks completely insane. And I just had this hair band in um, to kind of keep my hair all combed back because I have a really, really severe side part. And if I just left it, it would have started just like the side part would have just stayed. I wouldn't have been able to comb it back. So I don't know if anybody else has a problem like that, but it's kind of annoying. So all I'm going to do is just comb through my hair. And as you're combing it, comb it back like this because we're not going to have a part in our hair. It's going to be all combed back. And then take any headband you want. I'm going to use this one. It's from Claire's. Just kind of braided headband. Then I'm going to take this right like that. Then I'm going to start taking, kind of follow the line of um, the edge of your eye. Sorry, I'm kind of, ugh, I'm tripping over my words today. But just kind of follow that line take up some hair there and do the same on the other side and pull that back. So you kind of have something like this. And then I'm going to kind of get it together. Make sure not to pull it really tight and flatten it. And then I'm just going to twist it around once just to hold the hairs together, the different parts of the hair. It's going to twist around once and push it up some. And don't worry if it looks kind of crazy, you can fix it after you put the um, um, hairpin in. So I'm just going to take one of these kinds of hairpins. I don't know, you can probably get these like Walmart. I've had this one since I was like three. <laughs> so this is a really old one, but that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to take it and pin the back section of hair right in place. And if you have too much hair, like I do, like I can't clip this shut, you can take some out from the bottom part of the hair. So I'm going to try again, try to pin it in. Okay, it worked that time. So that's what it looks like. And if there's a little bit of hair kind of falling out, you can simply take a bobby pin and pin it into the hairstyle. So you can't see the bobby pin. Now to start trying to get more volume around the crown of your head, you can just start pulling out sections of hair. And if you didn't want to do this, you could tease your hair before gathering it back. But personally, I like to avoid teasing my hair as much as possible. So just because it is damaging. And then plus, it is a pain to comb out at night. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to simply pull out strands of hair. Okay, and then once you've gotten it pulled out enough to where you like it, I'm going to take some hairspray. This is Tresemme Body Envy Hairspray. I got this at Walmart. And I'm simply going to spritz it on top of the poof. Okay, and then the last step to style this bottom section, I'm going to take uh, Tresemme again, their heat protectant spray, and give the bottom layers a quick spray and brush them through. And then these bottom sections, you could curl them if you wanted, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just going to straighten mine. 
so. Okay, and that is it for this hairstyle. So it's really easy, really quick. I do this a lot if I'm going to work and I wanna put my hair up really quick. Um, I think this would even look cute for like a night out because it's not too fancy and it's not difficult to do at all, but it still looks really cute and really chic. So um, yeah, but I hope you guys like this tutorial and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.